Really, game? Hey everyone, I'm Og, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a more in-depth look into Red Dead Online to see if you should play it. If you haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2 before, Red Dead Online is a first and third person game set in 1899. The game consists of story missions, events, and many other activities you can do with friends, strangers, or by yourself. The gameplay includes shootouts, hunting, horse riding, and many more. So let's begin. Story. So to start off, if you're expecting the story of Red Dead Online to be as good as Red Dead Redemption 2, you're gonna be quite disappointed. Don't get me wrong though, the voice acting, animation, and cutscenes of NPCs are just phenomenal. But compared to Red Dead Redemption 2, there's just not as much character buildup and story. When it comes to Red Dead Online, aside from story and buildup, another reason why story is not as good as Red Dead Redemption 2, it's because your character does not talk. So I made my character extra thick, and whenever I see him in a cutscene, he just seems to not have a clue what's going on. He seems to just nod at everything, that's pretty much the dialogue. It just doesn't feel as lively as when you're playing Arthur or John. I am not a man to be annoyed by the unjust and the uncivilized. Again, for the record, am I being clear? Good. I need legs though, and I need muscle. Oh, you'll get that one, this one, and more, I promise you. Two of us already got a nice little business going. Progression. Red Dead Online is definitely fun at first when you start off, but over time this game does become a grind. So how's it work? Let's say you've done all the stranger missions, which typically involves you going from one place to another to either rob someone, kill someone, or deliver something. And now you want to try bounty hunting, but you can't because you need to buy a license first for 15 gold. So what can you do? Well, there's two choices. Either you can keep grinding these missions and other things like dailies, or you can buy them from the cash off. Want this outlaw pass that will unlock these cool awesome looking rewards? Well, you can, with only the low cost of 35 gold. Want to customize your weapons like you did in Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, you can, just pay more gold. Bored of doing Bounty Hunter? Purchase a trader license for 15 gold. So if you played Red Dead Redemption 2, there's an option of you being able to stash weapons away so you don't have to scroll through multiple weapons to find the one you're looking for. But in Red Dead Online, if you buy too many weapons, you're stuck with every one of them until you can purchase the trader roll. Then once you purchase the trader roll, you gotta level it up to level 5 and buy a weapon locker for $575 to actually be able to store your weapon away. Long story short, Red Dead Online feels like a mobile game at times that's been implemented into Red Dead Redemption 2, especially when it comes to the basic needs and content. Gameplay. Now, when it comes to Red Dead Online gameplay, it's very good. Controls are usually solid, the combat's quite fluid, and there are plenty of ways you can kill an enemy. So here I was trying to blow up a bear with a dynamite, but instead it just ripped the cage open and the bear started attacking the enemy. And on top of this, Red Dead Online is also great at small details, like if you shoot a lantern it will blow up on you, clothing and debuff temperatures, animals suffering when you don't get a clean shot on them, your horse constantly tripping over everything it sees. Online content. There are a ton of activities you can do from PvP to PvE like world events, missions, and just whatever else the open world can offer you. Sometimes you'll hate it and sometimes you'll love it. Personally, I don't mind toxic players. Fuck you, little bitch! Shut the fuck up, you virgin. Shut the fuck up, you little fucking imbecile! I'll suck your daddy's dick and spit his coming in your mouth! Hey, what the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, you little fucking imbecile! I'll suck your daddy's dick and spit his coming in your mouth! Hey, what the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! But what does bother me though are the hackers and doxers. Now, I don't know if I've been doxxed already according to these top Steam reviews, but I've definitely had my fair share of hackers ruining my experience. Okay, this is just absurd. Are you are you serious right now? Like, I can't even see him. He He's somehow shooting fucking rockets at me while... Ugh, just, just what the... So when it comes to Steam reviews for Red Dead Online, there's one Steam review that says it all. 
1890 wages, 2020 prices. This is actually true, it's not even exaggerated. So here I am, looting an entire camp of enemies and then turning in the leader for bounty. I made a total of $132. And now here I am trying to buy a hat. So despite some of these flaws in Red Dead Online, the game itself is still really fun with all the combined content. The graphics and gameplay are amazing, the community is generally toxic but entertaining, and it's just like Red Dead Redemption 2. So should you play Red Dead Online? Yes, it's still pretty fun, there's a ton of content even without gold, ton of activities, and best of all, you can play with real life people. Damn, baby, was your dad a farmer? Cause you are one fine looking-